One year, this landslide has been an eyesore and a headache for those in North Salt Lake. The city thought it had a plan to fix it, but it turns out not all the parties are on board. Good for Utah's Kimberly Nelson joins us now live in the studio with that story. Kimberly. Well, Don, the Eagle Ridge Tennis and Swim Club owner says the city and the developer knew this slide was going to happen before the land started moving. Now all he wants is what he lost, but the city and the club can't seem to come to an agreement. The problem is that when before the landslide, the day before the landslide, the city and the developer came in and said, oh, yeah, there's going to be a problem here. Can we please use your parking lot for a staging area, and then we promise we'll have everything back the way it was before. Then the landslide occurs, and all of a sudden it's now an act of God, and, and things change. Brad Ferreira says he's not asking for a lot. He wants his tennis courts back so he can continue to run a profitable business or get compensation so he can pay the bank. The bank's not asking, we're not getting a reduction from the bank. They still want full payment. We're, you know, close on a year. Um, and there's no compensation for lost business or lost revenue. We were willing to help them out and get them going, but they just couldn't see their way clear of um, releasing us from liability. They felt like they needed to keep us in there. And we weren't able to expend funds of that magnitude without some assurance that we wouldn't be hit again twice. The offer that we've had from the city is either come and do the, the come and fix the hill and take away our property and pour us a pad, but not get us back in business. Um, you know, and then we can continue litigation, or they'll they'll bring two tennis courts out of the three tennis courts as long as we promise not to litigate. So for now, the city is moving forward with what it's calling the critical remediation plans. That includes softening up the top of the slope, cleaning up that last massive landslide in the middle, and fixing the slope around the Evans family's property. The Evans family still has a suit out against the city, but they are allowing work to be done on their property. Reporting live in the studio, Kimberly Nelson, good for you.